Okay, we've inserted a nav bar and we stylized that a little bit. So let's insert an a hero image. Making sure that I have the source code selected, I'm going to go to the insert and insert under bootstrap components a fluid or a container fluid. Okay, there's two types of containers. One has paddings on the left and right hand side. The other one is a fluid container that goes uh, expands through the whole uh, screen area. And that's the one I want for the hero image. So again, I've inserted that and I can see that here. I'm going to add an ID to that. And I'll go ahead and call that Dune. Inside of there, what I want to do is insert a grid row with column. And I want to nest that. So select nest and I want one column. You'll see that now I have a div row. I'll go ahead and select inside of there and you'll see that I have col large 12. Now that's because I'm working in this large area here and that's actually the column. There's one column in there. Now we're going to delete that column because we don't need it. And the reason I'm doing that is because Dreamweaver will not allow me to insert a row without a column. But I only needed the row, so um, I'm going to delete that column. So that's a little workaround uh, for just including a row in your uh, structure. So inside of that row, what I'm going to do is insert a responsive image. I'm going to go ahead and nest it and you'll see here that I have a placeholder with a little hamburger icon for my attributes here for the image. Again this is a placeholder so I'm going to go ahead and select the little hamburger icon. This little menu will pop up and now I can select the source for the actual image that I want to use for that and I'll select my hero image. I also want to insert some alternative text and that's for people that use screen readers. I want this to be as accessible as possible so that's a really important fe feature. Go ahead and change this to dunes at Fifth Valley National Park. So again, that's just a description of the actual image. And now I'll click outside of that and now I have a nice responsive image, hero image in my view. And if I make it smaller, it will be responsive to any size 